feel like I've just put cement on my face. Tap those in. I don't want to look human. Whole face matte because I feel like my whole face is very matte. M562. What the heck is that? I... I didn't really think that one through. I'm trying to make my hair voluptuous like Nikki's. I don't think it's working. Okay, hi. Another day, another quarantine. Welcome back. This is another video. You're here for it, and I thank you. Hope you're staying safe and healthy. In today's video, I'm gonna copy Nikki Tutorial's tutorial on the natural glam, glam, glam look. I wanted to have flawless skin like Nikki. Let's do it. Nikki's face is always flawless, poreless, perfection, wrinkle free. Just this blank canvas of niceness. And I was just wondering if I could also get that same look. Full face of flawless flim. Uh, sign me up. Hey, it looks natural in a very glam and extra way. Someone said that I couldn't do that. Nikki can't do it. Natural, full glam, super beat, not beat face. The first product I really want to talk about is Youthquake. Youthquake, Marc Jacobs. I don't have it, so I have this pretty fresh primer and it's supposed to be hydrating with hyaluronic acid. It's basically the same. So let's just get the perfect canvas with this one. It's not really feeling as hydrating as it describes. It smells very, very coconutty. Also a bit like Play-Doh. This is the undercover blurring coconut primer. This is great at hiding the appearance of your pores. You know, it evens up the texture. It gives you that veil of blurriness and it controls oils, meaning that it will keep your makeup on longer and making it look flawless till the end of the day. A uh, coconutty, pore feeling, something, something. Makes you look like carpet. Awesome, don't have that either. But I do have this Timeless Smoothing Primer by Tarte. She's just getting a tiny bit, so that looks tiny. And she's just tapping it. Tap, 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 and it creates that blurry filter. And it smells amazing, it smells like coconut. So if you love coconuts, you are in for a party. Especially my nose, it looks blurred. My nose looks the same. This is by Makeup Revolution. It is the Conceal and Define Foundation. That is the foundation that I'm gonna be going in with today. It is full coverage, it looks like skin, it looks beautiful. Again, I don't have that foundation. I do have another foundation. This one and it's full coverage. It's the Per 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie in LG3. I feel like it's similar enough. It's also a foundation and concealer. A little trick, since summertime is here, you can add in a couple of luminizing drops. Summer isn't here, but I love dewy Marc Jacobs Dew Drops. I have it. This is the only Marc Jacobs product that I have, and I use this for highlight but she's putting it in her foundation, so we're also gonna put it in the foundation. Let's start working that into the skin and make sure that if you want full coverage from your product to tap that sponge onto the skin. Just keep tapping it. And she really just covers her lips also. I feel like I've just put cement on my face. For concealer today, I'm using the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. Don't have the e.l.f. Flawless Concealer. I'm gonna stick to the trusty Tarte Shape Tape. Oh wow, she's really just, she's gone for it with that concealer. Oh, this feels wrong. Are you sure we should be doing this? So basically just cover your face in concealer like you would foundation after you do the foundation. Oh yeah, this is getting sticky. I look old. Oh, don't frown. Tap those in. I don't want to look human. And then I'm going to set everything using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder and Butter. We do not have the Fenty Filter Pro Filter Fenty, but I've got this Coconut Setting Powder by Ciate London. And uh, we love putting coconut on our face. Is this sponge supposed to be wet? Setting underneath my eyes like that makes my eyes look crusty. It is a very smoky sculpted. Overall, the look is very matte. The whole face matte, because I feel like my whole face is very matte. So let's start it off. Let's Optimus Prime. She uses the Pee Weave Eye Primer. And you know what? I do have an eye primer, the Anastasia Eye Primer. I'm ready for this to get good. The palette I'll be dipping into today is by ColourPop and Becky G. And I'm going in with this color right here. I don't have that palette either, but I do have this little Morphe bronzed babe palette. Just going in with the caramello, which I feel like is very similar to this Hang 10 color. I look like I'm okay. I look straight into my mirror 
and I place that color on the outside of my crease, but above my crease, and I start stamping in that color. And now you see that the outer portion of your eye is completely covered. So just softly, I pick up more of that color and I start bringing it in towards like this portion of the brow. So we're going up, 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 honey. Up into the brow. Bringing it into my brow. It's a little scary to be honest. Speaking of brow, my brows are done. When did I miss that? No. Then I pick up a Morphe M562 and I'm placing that brush flat against my skin, like this, against the cheek. Okay, Morphe M562, what the heck is that? JH31, basically the same. Cheek smudge. Taking the dark brown, I'm gonna use that color to darken that outer portion up a bit. Tapping it on. Going to Volcano. Tap, tap, tapity, tap. For the lid, I'm now taking Luna, that matte white sort of like really like beigey light shade. Just found a white kind of color in my tart young and free one. Now I'm taking that dark brown color, Cafecito, and I'm stamping it onto where I would normally apply a liquid liner, so onto the lash line. Mine doesn't look. Did I use the wrong brush? For the lower lash line, I take Caramello and I just stamp it on. Maybe the more of this I use, the less under eye wrinkles I'll have. Now pop on your favorite pair of lashes and bottom mascara. It's now time to pop on some lashes and mascara. Okay, hello. Lashes are on and I quickly did my brows. I tried to go a little bit more intense with the brows to match the look. I don't know if it just looks like I've got anchovies for eyebrows. I'm going in with my Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantric. I do not have Marc Jacobs bronzer in Tantric or Marc Jacobs bronzer anything. Let's use the butter bronzer. Bronzer's bronzer, right? Really high up, like I'm on my highlighting spot. I start swirling in. You don't want to take it too far in about like halfway of the cheeks, but keep it high up, baby. My forehead isn't massive, but I have one. What are these aggressive forehead wrinkles? I am not old. Why am I wrinkles like this? I don't think my mom has as many wrinkles as I do right now. One super important thing is to contour the nose. So I take my brush, scratch it over it. I just focus on getting that color and that shape first. I... Now it just looks like a blob of bronzer on the nose. So I'm gonna take a face powder and carve out the sides and the top to give it shape. And that leaves you with a perfectly contoured, snatched nose. Of course we don't want this to look ridiculous. <laughs> gonna dust it off a little bit. Now going in with a whisper of Max Blush in Peaches and also more up towards the side. I don't have peaches, but I do have this Ofra Madison Miller Blush, which is a peach color. We're taking it more up. Ooh, this is a lot more pigmented than I originally thought. Gotta match the other side. For highlighter today, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in Bloom Time. I do have the Ofa Star Island Highlight. Probably not the same color, but that's okay. My face is now so dry that the highlight doesn't even want to stick to my cheeks. It's separating and making me look even older. And she's popping a bit up on her forehead. Of course on the chin. And yep, a bit up here too. A bit on the nose. Can't forget the nose. Okay, I feel horrendous. I sure hope that this doesn't look on camera like it does in person. With good lighting, anyone can look good. Now it's time for overdrawn, penciled, nude, glossy lips. I'm going in with the Makeup Forever Artist Pencil in Anywhere Caffeine. I do love to kind of go over the edge when lining my lips to give myself that extra pout. So I always pull my lip in like this, like, huh? And then I just kind of create the McDonald's sign. I just used some random mixed brown lip liner. I'm feeling as crumbly as ever. For lipstick, I'm taking the KKW Beauty Nude Lipstick in number one. I actually have that. Definitely bring it up to that lip liner. I think it's weird if you just stay below it. Yes. My lips feel so dry. Also, my lips don't look like my lips. We are nude, honey. Nude, honey. This color here is called Pink Parade. I don't have the Pink Parade. I have this Fenty Beauty little miniature fussy. 
Oh yeah, probably won't be able to eat or drink for the next six hours. But my lips look good. Boom, some setting spray and we're done. Some setting spray and we're done. I figured if I apply a little bit extra, maybe I wouldn't be so dry. On the other hand, all of this makeup might just drip off. I didn't really think that one through. I just genuinely spent a good 10 minutes trying to dry my face. This is it. I have no words. And to that one person on Twitter that said I could do this, I look super old. I don't know that the camera can see the extensive amount of wrinkles or the top layer of skin that's literally about to shed off of my face. That can't be natural. So, uh, you know what, Nikki? You're a great teacher. I just don't think my skin was made for this. On that note, I'm gonna wrap this up. If you like the look, like her video. If you like this video, thank you. Please go follow me on Instagram at amy underscore Leisha. Come say hi. Thanks for hanging out. You guys are great. Bye.